Today may be my final day ice fishing. Right now, it is 40 degrees out. Tomorrow, it's gonna be 60. You guys can see there's some open water right there. I am at a pond that a subscriber invited me to. We've got Joseph right here. What do we got in this pond, man? Oh, uh, we got giant bass and giant bluegill. Are there really snapping turtles here? Uh, I know there used to be. It was a pretty big one too. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. How deep is your pond right here? It's up to 13 feet deep. 13 feet. That's actually perfect for ice fishing. As, as you guys know, I've been fishing ponds that have been like four to six feet deep and they absolutely suck. So having a pond that's uh, this deep and really small, it should be easy to locate these fish. So the ice looks pretty safe. Oh yeah, look at that. This is some oh, clean yeah, black clear. ice. Yeah, that's what you want to see. Yeah, the water in here is black. Oh, it's black. Okay, yeah, so it's low just, visibility. It's just like South Florida. Gotcha. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah, not sure why, but it's always been that way. All right, would you like to drill the first hole? Uh, I'll give it a shot. Oh, there you go. So this is your first time drilling a hole, right? Yep. So it looks like you know the right technique. You must have been watching some YouTube videos. Yeah, I learned from your dad. <laughs> <laughs> he learned what not to do from my dad. You should be through the ice within five to ten seconds. Ooh, ow. It's still, it's still going, huh? Yeah. Okay, let me see what I got right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is the thickest ice I've ever seen. Not even to the bottom You're yet. not even to the bottom. He's already about six or seven inches deep. I think you need a couple more, one or two more turns, you'll get to the bottom. Oh, there, holy, it is. there he is. We gotta see how thick this ice is. Woo! Right, oh, don't put your hand down there. You're not gonna be able to reach the bottom. I don't oh, think. I, I can reach it. You can reach it? Really? That's how thick it is. Right there, huh? Yep, right about that. I can just barely reach the bottom of the ice. Dude, that is nuts. Ooh. Seven to eight inches of ice right here. All right, let's see how deep it is. So, look what we've got, dude. We've got eight feet, one inch, and there's a fish in the bottom down there. Eight feet, two inches. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna put down all of our tip-ups, we're gonna lay those out across the pond, and then I'm gonna teach Joseph how to jig, and hopefully we can get him on his first fish, because uh, I didn't do a very good job teaching my dad, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, we got the tip-ups going down. We're gonna figure this pond out. So I'm gonna let line out, go all the way to the bottom. All right, I'm on the bottom. Now I'm gonna reel it back up a little bit. Tip-up number one. All right. So that was 8.1 feet. Where do you think the water might be a little deeper? Uh, probably out over here. It is incredible how small this pond is. There's one end right there, and I'm literally about 30 feet from the other end. Incredibly small pond. Time for a jigging crash course. So what do you know about ice fishing? Uh, you put the bait in the ice and the fish come out. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to suspend the bait about 6 inches to a foot off the bottom. And uh, what technique are you going to use? What shaking technique are you going to use? Just very light jigging. Yeah. That looks like that's about, and you have the right. You must be watching a lot of videos. Oh yeah, the right technique looks pretty good. And then I've got you uh, set up with the green, this green ice fishing line, real easy to detect bites. So I'll let you fish here. I'm gonna fish over here, and we'll see who gets the uh, first fish. Dude, oh he's super cold. Yeah, dude, you got your first fish of the day. Oh he's deformed. Look at that. That's a weird looking fish. You got a largey. I don't think you might be the first ice fisherman ever to catch a largemouth on your first fish. I give you credit for that, man. You must be half Eskimo. <laughs> nice job, dude. Still got my worm, too. <laughs> so we've got about two hours left of daylight. Joseph and I, we're about to make it happen. So what'd you do right there to get that fish? Just slowly jigging it near the bottom. All right, that's, I mean, that's the basic ice fishing principle. I think I might have another one. <laughs> you have another one? Maybe. Dude, you got Oh, this one's bigger. This one's bigger? Yep. What? Dude, you're an ice fishing god. Oh, my, oh it's a giant bluegill. What the wow. heck? Man, look at that fish. Real pretty, too. Those winter colors. Yeah. Is that how big they usually are in here? I've seen bigger ones in here. All right, let's let them go. Make the hole bigger to get it through. Yeah, that's what, that's what Joseph said. All right, guys, we're going to check out Joe's hole right here because he is just slamming fish left and right. I haven't even started fishing yet. Oh yeah, there's a lot of activity. Look at that. Only eight feet of water. It's only eight feet, but there's a lot of activity down there. All right, let me get my first fish. And you know what? Since today's gonna be the last day I can probably ice fish, here's what we're gonna do. So we are gonna use my MTB box, ice fishing version today to fish with. And let's go ahead and see what they've given us. We have two tungsten jig heads. Really, really high quality. I've used these before and they glow. 
We've got two Forge Minnow Baitfish Image Small Fry Jigs. This is a light lead head jig, which is uh, good for shallow water. We've got some 13 fishing. I didn't even know they made plastics. And 13 fishing does specialize in ice fishing gear, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised to see that. And we have the Dottler, which is um, three lead jig heads, different shapes, and glowing plastics. You see that color? Those things will glow. And finally, last but not least, we have the Knuckle Ball Jig Jitter. A sixteenth of an ounce. And right over there, Joe has caught another freaking bluegill. Very nice man. So now, I'm going to put these in here. And we're going to catch some fish. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the jig head first. It's time to get on the board. I've got the Kender Tungsten Jig tipped with the wax worm right here. And I actually have been using the same jig I got last year. So this is like a super high quality tungsten jig for ice fishing. Really awesome bait. We've got 8.2 feet. We've got fish down there. Let's see how long it takes me. Oh, I got him. First drop, dude. First freaking drop. Dude, these are, oh my God. <laughs> dude, it's not as big as yours, but this is a, this is the biggest bluegill I've ever caught from the ice. Look at that, palm sized gill. I love your pond, man. Small <laughs> pond filled with big fish. That. Yeah, this really is a gem right here. It is. This was my first drop on this MTB bait. I caught a fish. That is freaking incredible. I've never done that before. Guys, I can freaking lift this, these gills. They're so freaking big. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Ow! Maybe you can't look <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. You're right. All right, let's put them, put them back. Guys, we're going to see how quickly I can get this MTB slam done. So there you go. It is 424. We got out here at 3 o'clock, and we lost 45 minutes. We are, time is of the essence, but I think I can complete the slam in less than an hour. All right, I got to ride this momentum. Next bait. Let's see what we got. Hmm, should I go with the plastic? Now let's go with, this will definitely work. This uh, Forge Minnow Small Fry Jig. I'm going to tip this with the wax worm and uh, it'll definitely work. Look at that, look at the slogan. It bugs them to bite. I like the sound of that. Another wax worm, but a much lighter jig head and it also has a uh, hologram on it. And a uh, opaque pink color on the other side. Pretty interesting. It has a pretty big hook, so if I hook a big fish it should be, uh, should be pinned. Yeah, I'm watching it go, oh man, that fi the fish are already coming up. Dude, these fish are ready to eat. This is nuts down here. Watch this. I got him. I got him. Right like that. All right. You got him? We doubled up. We doubled up. Oh, well, let me get my fish. What is this? Dude, this feels pretty good. <laughs> oh, we got off. What the heck? What did you get, dude? Bluegill. Oh, you got a bluegill? All right, he got a bluegill. You can let him go. Right, I'm going back down there. Dude, what is going on in that, on this graph? Oh, he came up. He came up to my bait. Oh, shoot. He came up and nipped it. Dang, big fish nipped it. All right, I got that fish to come halfway up the water column. All right, I dropped it right back down to him. He nipped it really lightly. I was going back down. He swam back down. I right, dropped the jig down to him. I'm gonna get you, man. I don't know what this is, but it looks like a big fish. Oh, got him, finally. Let's go. Oh, he's pulling drag, he's big. It's a good fish right here, guys. All right, let's play him correctly. Please don't lose another fish. There's a giant bluegill. Giant monster freaking bluegill. Oh wait, it's a bass, Never mind. It's a largey. Woo, let's go. Ah, finally, man. <laughs> Got him on the, uh, on that minnow jig. Whew, another injured bass. These guys are looking very unusual. Light hitter, got him right at the top of the lip. Little bass. My second fish of the day. I right, see you later, dude. Off he goes. All right, on to bait number three. We've got rid of the two jig heads. Now we got to move on to an artificial bait. And what I'm thinking is we're going to go with the Dot handcrafted stopper glowing bait. It's getting dark out here, so this glowing bait should be the deal. And this water is also uh, very tannic. Joseph pointed out, kind of like Florida water. Very interesting out here. Let's go with the heaviest jig head. Oh, this is a high quality hook on here. And which jig head is going to be heavier? Orange or green? Orange is brighter, a little orange. I think they're the same weight. Got one of these little plastics. All right, is it scented or unscented? Okay, it's uh, scented with anise right there. Yeah, it smells really good. I'm going to try to catch a fish completely unartificial right now. Here we go. The glowing grub, anise scented. Let's see if I can see it glowing in the water. Uh, I mean that orange head is really bright. I can't really tell if the uh, grub's glowing or not, but 
you know, we're gonna fish it, we'll see. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you've never tried MTB, highly recommend it. You can actually use my promo code, one rod, at checkout to get $10 off your very first box. And there's boxes for literally everything. Ice fishing, pan fish, trout, bass, walleye, saltwater. If you go check out the website, link in the description, you can uh, see what they got and I'm sure they'll have a, a box for you. We are running out of daylight right here, guys. Whew, two baits left, complete the slam. And we're gonna see if jo Joseph can uh, break his 2018 PB, which is uh, standing at eight ounces right now. I am shocked that not a single tip up caught a fish yet. Yeah, is that not natural forage for them? No, they've only got Okay. Oh, flag, dude, flag it. Flag, 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 flag. Is it moving? Damn, is that the same one that always moves? Yeah. All right, well, let's just uh, lift it up and see the angle. It's uh, tight. It's tight. Tight? Yep. Shut it. It's a fish. You, you can reel it, dude. Nice, hey, kid, nice and slow. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Okay, good bass. Good bass. Ooh, nice. <laughs> so, dude, we're going to go 50 50 on that catch, man. Yeah. Do we need pliers? Definitely. All right. Let me go get him. All right. I'll, I'll take a look at him. So, this guy. So, hold the line taut up like this for me, please. So first off, I need to get the weight out of my way. All right, I see the treble hook. And now we're going to rotate the hook out. All right. Now, pull slowly. Slowly. There. Yeah, pull slowly. Right there, hooks out. Here you go, dude. Nice. I'm gonna let you release it. Still got that minnow in there too. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll let him have that gift. Nice job, dude. That was the first fish on a minnow. And we've he's caught like 12 on the uh, wax worm. I've caught like four. It's amazing how nothing's eating the minnows, huh? Yeah, they just don't want them. And uh, Joseph actually told me there's two giant fish in here, a five and a half, five pounder and a six pounder. Yep. And those are the only two big fish in here, basically. Mm -hmm. There's no like two or three or four pounders. I've seen a dead one. <laughs> you seen a dead one? So basically this pond is really interesting. We have giant bluegill, we have stunted bass, and then we have two monster bass. It's getting dark. Let's hope we find one of those monster bass. Whew, back to the artificial. Will I be able to complete today's slam? We got like 20 minutes left of daylight. Nope, no fish here, gotta move. Gotta move. I guess I'll go back to this hole. Oh, I got some activity over here. Come on, eat that plastic. Oh, oh, he bit it. All right, come on, fish. All right, here's the hole right here. Dude, my graph is like going crazy on me. Look at that, guys. My graph is lighting up like a freaking Christmas tree. I got him. Oh, that's why he's lighting up. Oh my gosh, giant bluegill. Woo! Look at that, guys. Ah. So we're running out of time. Got one on the uh, on the plastic. I'm not gonna lie, I did cheat a little bit. I tipped the plastic with the wax worm. So this guy's gonna get a little meal. Go ahead, buddy. Open your mouth. There you go. Get get that wax worm in there. Close that up. Another hand-sized bluegill right here. Ah. Ah. Ah, sharp, dude, this guy is feisty. All right, there you go, guys. We're gonna let him go. Whew, beautiful fish. That leaves us, oh, he jumped out of the hole. Well, if you jump out, you gotta get back in there, buddy. Oh, he found his way back in. One more bait. What do we have left in our MTB box? We've got the 13 fishing grub, and we've got the knuckleball jig. Jitter, er, jitter, -er, jitter. All right, we're gonna combine these two suckers together and uh, try to make something magic happen. Do or die time. We've got like less than 10 minutes of daylight left. I've got the uh, jitter bug and the 13 fishing grub. And I put a wax worm on it too for like uh, the triple threat. So it's gonna be real hard to catch something on it. One, cause the hook is huge. Two, cause it's really dark. And three, cause I've, I have no idea how to fish a bait like this. It's like a uh, mini chatterbait head. So I'm guessing you jig it off the bottom. And if we had like big perch or a walleye in here, I think it'd be a good bait. But for these, uh, oh, I thought it was a fish, but it's actually the action of the bait. It has really good vibration. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be interesting, guys. Dude, come on. Something bite it. I can't even see anything out here now. No moon, cloudy, getting scared.